one of the areas for me was um, performance. You know, you 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 get your value by your performance, but that's you know that's that's not God's wish for us. We, he wants us to come out a place of rest. So if um, someone listening to this is thinking, look, I'd really like to do this uh, to to have a prayer ministry appointment. Um, what mm. do they do, and how does that ministry appointment sort of look? How long does it take? What happens generally? Well, um, I'm the contact person, so we make an appointment and there's two prayer ministers and generally um, we'll spend about two hours with somebody and, um, yeah, so it's finding out the story and, and uncovering where the, where the wounds, where the, you know, the roots. Yeah, within the ministry, we have to, you know, we wait on Jesus and invite Jesus to come in. And it's it's not us telling them um, what they need to do. It's we wait on Jesus and he will he will bring things up for people. But it was only really until I turned to to Jesus to you know, because then he says to me, No, you you are beautiful. It's, yeah, God wants to transform us and and bring us back to his, the way he's designed us to be. And anybody can come to a seminar. So we often run a seminar and then people become um, be exposed to the material and it's like, wow, how, how God can work in um, when you're prepared to forgive and repent for, for the attitudes of, you know, judgment and the ways we hold or blame other people. But this year, because of not being able to meet, um, Marie and myself and another one of our team have been involved in the online ministry. And a lot of people were really nervous at the, first, at st at the start as to how effective it would be. But, yeah, it was. it's just amazing how how God and the Holy Spirit can still be really active via um, this technology. We just operate by donation. Okay. So people can donate whatever they feel able to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, we get these huge, really generous donations and other times people give what they can. So, yeah. And it all, it all seems to balance out. Yeah, God provides. Where do you see uh, Elijah House have going over the next few years um, in terms of, I don't know, more of this or, yeah? Well, um, that's part of, um, like, the vision that you were sharing was to be able to, to reach out to a wider community. And really, it's, it's getting churches on board to want to train up and offer ministry themselves. So that that would be our, our vision or, or dream that um, each church would, um, you would be equipped and try, you know, be able to then reach out because we like, we've, we have people from, from different churches. So still churches aren't really able to provide that deep ministry, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we we need more workers. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's... workers in the vineyard, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. I love yeah. that vision. Um, just another question: in terms of checks and balances, do you have um, do you have checks and balances? Like... We all sign a volunteer agreement, and um, that's in that agreement. Um, you you commit to be teachable and receive your own ministry, and then above above my like I'm the leader of Geelong, but there's there's more senior people in Melbourne who we can go to um, for support or advice, and then so there's a hierarchy within a larger house, and they they their um, new direction is that everybody 
would have uh, a mentor. What, what would it mean for uh, Elijah House to have some sort of alliance with Bethel? How do you see that looking? Well, because, um, you know, that sort of our goal has been to be aligned with the church and to have that um, partnership because um, we all come from different churches. Um, and because um, Paul has always offered us like a home in a way um, to use the house and and he's always really supported and and believed in what we're doing, um, that I think it's it's God's plan that that you you know you have that spiritual leadership and covering, and so to be and a lot of the the groups do come out of a church, and so it's good to to feel like that you've got um, you know you've 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 got leadership leadership above us mm -hmm. so that we are accountable and um, can be nurtured but also um, yeah be able to offer that that ministry um, mm -hmm. as a as a, an extended team in a way we've got some really strong people in our team um, and so everybody brings different gifts and yeah so god's really used us and yeah we um we've become more refined in in the process as well yeah. so we're all on the on the healing journey and all of us have have you know could claim that a larger house really did um restore us well it, it actually restored my marriage so